In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we are going to take an in-depth look at the Watermark Creator. In one of our recent tutorials, we've covered watermarks slightly, but in this tutorial, we're going to go in depth on all the tools available in the Watermark Creator. You can use this tool either in the guided area or the edit area, but I highly recommend using it in the guided area because that offers more tools than you will find if you use it in the edit area. I have a photograph loaded and that will be the background for, for which I design a watermark using the watermark creator. My first step is to go to the guided button at the top and choose the second category from the bottom frames and watermarks. I'll expand that and choose Watermark Creator. When we open this, we see on the left panel, we have four tabs. We're going to cover them from left to right. The first is Border. You notice the default option is No Border or Line. You can have one or the other, but not both. Let's go for Border and see what happens when we click on that. It puts a border, adds a watermark around our image. We can change the color. Let's go to an orange. Click on OK. We can change the opacity, dial that up or back, and we can add a shadow moving right or moving left. So those are the options. Incidentally, whenever you're working in this panel, if you want to start all over again, you click the clear button in the lower left corner and that will reset everything. I'm going to say OK. We're back to where we started. Now, if I don't want a border, I may want a line. Now, the word line is a bit deceiving here. I'm going to click on line. And what the line gives you is a rectangular box, normally over which you place text. You can make it horizontal or vertical. Horizontal is the default. I can also click on vertical. And once I have it, I can click on it. And I can take the mouse and move it left or right, wherever I want to go. I can also change the height or width by taking the handle in the middle and expanding that as much as I want. Let's go back to our horizontal and I'll take that and I'll move it down to what's commonly known as a lower third. I'll widen it just a little bit and let's edit this one. I'm going to change the color settings on this one to make it a shade of blue and click on OK. And then I'm going to make it just a little bit transparent and we can use a shadow as well. If I move it to the right, it will put a shadow below. I move it to the left of zero, it'll be a shadow above. We'll do a slight shadow, just a very small one below. One thing we often do if we use a bar like this is we put text on it, but we don't have to. Well, let's go to the text tool, the second one over. All I have to do is click on the add text button and it will add a text in the center of the screen. So I can take that text area and I can type whatever I want to. Let's say sky, make it very simple. And I can take that and drag, drag it and place it wherever I want. Let's do something on top of the bar because I can have more than one text element. I'll click again. And here we're going to type in, let's call this Madison Construction Company. Now, once I have this, I'm going to take it and move it over my bar. Let's change the font size. The slider is where we do that. Let's change the color. Let's change to a white. Click on OK. If I want to, I can change the font if I desire. I can change the style here. And let's make it bold. And let's add a shadow. I'll drag to the right. We're adding a little bit of a shadow. You see how that makes the letters stand out very nice. I will change the spelling of this. Okay, that looks a little better. So there is our text. Oh, I don't want sky in. I simply click on it, press the delete key on the keyboard. It will go away. So those are some ways in which you can take text and add it wherever you want as part of your watermark in the watermark creator. We can also add an image. I'll click on the third tab from the left and click on the add images button in the left panel. Again, I can click on any image I desire. Here's an arrow. I can again resize it and move it wherever I want it to go. Let's do another one. Let's assume that these three dots happen to be their logo for some reason. And I'll take it and I'll actually put it here. Shrink it just a little bit. 
And so now it's part of my bar and my name. I'll delete that. And here's what we have so far. Not too bad. The next tab that we have on the left side is our copyright. And it, that's what you'll use most often. But if you want to put other elements about the picture, you can take the data from the picture and record the date, camera name, aperture, focal length, ISO, shutter speed, etc. So I could click here on camera name and the default color is black, which makes it very hard to see. I'm going to change from black. Let's go to a yellow. And here is the camera that was used to take the photograph. Again, I can change the font family, font size. I have three alignment options left center or right at the lower part. Uh, let's let's say we don't want to record the camera name. Let's say we want to record a copyright and we will copyright this with Madison Construction uh, 2022. And now we've changed the name again. In this case, I might want to make it a little larger. And so there we have it. Let's assume we're done editing our watermark. When we're finished, we simply click on the Save Template button in the lower left corner. It will default with watermark with a number behind it. I'm just going to call it uh, a test and click on OK. Now I've saved it. Now that doesn't save the background image. It just saves only the stuff we've done to create the watermark. So I'm going to clear everything and all the edits will go away. I still have my template, which I can edit again in the future. Let's load a completely different picture. Let's do this one here. And to apply a watermark, all I need to do is when I'm in the guided area, we'll go back from Watermark Creator, choose the watermark template from the guided area. And let's find the one we created. It was called a test. We click on it and it applies the watermark. We have other options. We can click here on the garbage can in the left panel and delete it. Or we can go back and re-edit it and save it as it was under the same name or even under a different name when we're done. We won't go back into the editing mode, but that's how you get there easily. So I now, I now have it applied to a different photograph. Let's assume that I want to output this. I click on Output Photo on the left side. And I normally will export it. And here it gives me my export controls, a JPEG, a TIFF, or PNG if I want. I can change the name of it if I like and I can export it without damaging the original photograph with the watermark in place on top of the image. We'll cancel that for now. That's how you can take the watermark creator and use it to create any kind of template you want, applying it as many times as you want on photographs in PhotoDirector 365.